Hello, Valley viewership. This is Big Bang Blitz. While that might be obvious because of the channel that you're currently on, I'll tell you what's not obvious. How to install and operate MameHub. Now, this video doesn't actually explain what MameHub is. I already made a video like that a while ago, and you can actually go to it by clicking this link. This video is going to explain the installation and general operation of MameHub. It doesn't go over everything, but it almost covers everything. Please keep in mind that MameHub is currently in a beta state. And it's constantly changing, so anything here is subject to change as well, anytime. We went to the MameHub website. And we're just going to skip by all the other installation stuff because I'm explaining it now. So here we are. We're going to download this file. It takes a little while, so you got to wait. It's 140 megs. But after you download it, you just run it. It's probably not a virus. See, it's a zip file and you just extract it somewhere. Like, uh, you know, just put it in any kind of folder, I guess. How about the uh, meme hub? The name doesn't matter. Whoop. The name doesn't matter, basically. So we're going to wait for that to extract. You really don't have a choice in there, you have to wait. Sorry. And I could speed up the video, but I, I didn't think to do it, so we're just going to have to sit here and watch the numbers. Okay, it's done. So after that, we really don't need this browser. We'll just go and open that folder. Now in this folder, you have a memehub.bat file. Now, a lot of people think that you're supposed to set admin on this. But no, you can't run a batch file as an administrator. You can only run EXEs. Um, in order to get the program working correctly, you have to make the executable for MameHub run as admin because it alters a lot of sensitive files and does a lot of networking stuff. So to make that work, you'll have to change the admin on the exe, which we'll do in a little while. The exe doesn't exist yet. We're building it now. Clicking on this batch file, memehub.bat, will start the update server, and files will be downloaded one by one. Once that file does appear in this folder, dist, you can set it to run as administrator. And just close this because that's the first step and it's done. Now, once that's closed, you just run it again and then it'll start updating all this other stuff I don't need to explain. Basically, any time that you run this file, this is how you start MameHub every time. Anytime you run it and there's an update, it will update itself. So all you have to do is wait for it to finish. This updating process can take a little while, so I'm just going to move ahead in the video to the point where it's done. Okay, the update's almost done. So, you get the login screen, and Mumble will pop up. Mumble is a voice chat program, and it 
is automatically launched when you start MAMHUB. You can connect to the MAMHUB server on Mumble and talk with the devs and people that are in the lobby and stuff, and that's kind of neat. You can do that if you want. For the purposes of this video, we'll just skip it for now. So we're at the login screen. What you need is an account. We're going to create a new account. Here we go. So you just put your email address in. Put a real email in. And a username. Then you put in the password that you want to use. Make sure that you can remember it. Oops! You have to make sure you use a username that doesn't currently exist. It doesn't allow duplicates. Let's see. That'll do. Alright, the account's been made. It'll automatically log in after you make the account. Alright, we made it into the lobby. This is where the magic happens. Over here we have the user list. Over here we have the little status thing. Up here is where all the gaming stuff happens. And up here you have various options, like under connection you can check your port forwarding. It'll open some tabs in your browser. Basically, if you run this, alright, let's just run it. If you run this and it says your port's open, you don't have to mess around with port forwarding anymore. If you don't trust that one, you can go to what's my IP and they have various stuff here. If that isn't the case, then you're going to have to do something about it. You're going to have to go to portforward.com. Once you're here, just pick your brand. I don't have a CNET brand. And the type of that brand. And then what you want to actually forward. Uh, <laughs> Mame Hudson, I could be listed here. But you can substitute the port 6805 for anything that you find in these guides like here, instead of using these numbers, you put 6805. Oh, look at what we have here. We're going to go down to this chat part here. All you have to do is type into this and you'll be speaking in the lobby. You have to make sure to misspell the, or else you're not actually on the internet. Now you have to wait for a response, and come up with a good reply. And that's how you use the chat box. So moving right along, here's the Join Game tab and here's Downloads. You'll notice that there's nothing in here. I think the problem with that is that you actually need to have games. And, oh, oh my god, what was that? Well anyway, here, under Edit there's options for... Well, if you want to allow uploading because see this downloads tab it allows you to download stuff from everybody on the server 
if you don't want to join in and upload everything to everyone on the server, you can uncheck that and opt out. So we're going to go to Audit. And if you look in your, your main hub folder, you'll see that there's a ROMs folder. This is where you put your ROMs, typically. But if you don't want to put your ROMs in there for whatever reason, you can just add them like this. Just add the folder in. Now Meme Hub is currently at what yeah, yeah, it's at version 1.46. So you'll need version 1.46 MAME and MESS ROMs. They have to be for that version. And man, I wish I knew what that noise was. But you need those types of ROMs for that version and you need the BIOS that goes with them. Once you have those, you just select the folder that they're in and then uh, start the audit as I showed. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what that noise was. Number Muncher was pretty rad. So if you look down here, it's auditing these files. This will take a while, but if you go to the Join Game tab, you'll see that there's games that you can join. If you had the ROMs, you could join these games by clicking on these buttons. Okay, now every time that there's a message in the chat, it's going to make a beep or bleep noise. If you don't want that, you can go over here and you just switch this to Quiet and it'll just make it not make any noises anymore. Or you could go away. In addition to making it quiet, it will show your status as away so people won't actually try and message you thinking that you're there. I'm just gonna skip ahead again because this will take a little while to audit. It's not so bad because once you do it once, you never have to do it again, even in successive audits but we're just going to skip ahead in the video for now. Okay, now that the audit's complete, you'll see if you go to host game, you'll have a list of games that you can actually play and a bunch that you can't. These are the ones that are being hosted by other people on the server. If it has a green arrow, it's good to go. If it has this kind of arrow, it means that you have to download it. If it has a red, if it has if it has a red stop sign looking thing okay we don't have any of those right now well if there's a red one then nobody has it on the server you don't have it they don't have it but for now we're going to try and uh, download something just to show that you can do it okay I really don't want Animaniacs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the game I want. Nothing shows up. I'm searching for a game that I don't have, so it doesn't show up in the list, unfortunately. If you use the search, it only shows the games that you do have. If you want to find a game that you don't have, you'll have to use this little bar thing, scroll down, and actually find it. I'm sure it's here. It's a pretty easy one to find. Yeah, here we are. So it asks if you're legally entitled to own this ROM. Well, I, uh, sure. Why not? Okay. As it says, you'll have to rescan your folders when it's done. And it's done, so now you have to rescan your folders. <laughs> so we're going to have to go back to audit and rescan the folders one more time. After that's done, when you type it in, it will show up because it's in your list. And you can play it. You just click on it. So now that you're in the game, 
This control is more or less like MAME or MESS standalone. If you don't understand what those are, you'll have to look them up because the scope is too wide for this video. Just know that you press tab to set your controls and it works a lot like main and mess. Because it is main and mess. So you can set your controls like normal. Very standard emulator settings. Once all those buttons are done, just get to it. you get this little customized dialogue and if you have any good feedback feel free to type it in because it, it helps make the gaming experience better for everyone and that's all I got right now so thanks for watching 